Remember when Rocky Balboa ate that raw egg? What if he ate two dozen or so in a minute? It's not too far off for some competitive eaters. Since I know you're hungry for some sporting competition, we want to talk to Mickey Sudo and Nick Weary now, sharing how to feed your craving while they stuff their faces. <laughs> it's time for the Major League Eating Bet Online Quarantine Challenge. And guys, thanks so much for being here. Let's get right to why this challenge is such a good thing and who it benefits. Mickey, we'll start with you. So, why is challenge such a good thing? Oh my gosh, that's what you Oh, I, I'm super excited to be involved with the Bet Online Quarantine Challenge. Um, we've all been waiting for live events to come back. And until we can perform in front of live crowds, this is uh, the next best thing. Uh, Bet Online and Major League Eating have put together an $11,500 purse and have also raised $10,000 to be donated to Feeding America. So, it's, it's awesome, exciting. It's great to be, it's an honor to be involved in such a great cause. That's great. And Nick, uh, in the commercial break, I had a chance to check out what you were having for breakfast. I was expecting it to be some like long laundry list. No, that's not how it works with you guys. You guys technically eat normal uh, for your meals, but it's just that you can really put down a lot when the competition's on the line. What do you guys got for breakfast there? Exactly. So for me today for breakfast, I have a mixture of basically protein powder, water, cocoa powder, and peanut butter, basically. Uh, Normally I would have two over easy eggs with this, but uh, this is going to be keeping the calories a little bit lower, probably about 350 days a year. This is my breakfast. Um, and I've got leftover oden. It's a Japanese dish. So it's a dashi broth, um, and I'm eating the leftover uh, stewed radish, the daiko radish, just to warm up and uh, have something light going. Okay, some of our viewers at home might be going, uh -uh, they're not doing the whole social distancing thing. What's going on there? Uh, <laughs> I'll let We're you guys explain. We're stuck sheltering in place together. Uh, okay. Yeah, but not only do we compete together uh, for the only couple of major league eating who uh, go head to head. Did you guys meet, eat at meet at an eat in competition? We uh, we technically met at the gym of the hotel that we're put up in for the Nathan Toddler eating contest two years ago, um, which is extremely fitting for us to kind of combining the gym and eating. Um, so we met as, at the time we were the two only competitors in the gym. I was getting a photo shoot done and she was just training. Um, and we just started talking there and kind of just saw each other along the circuit here and there. And then, you know, mid to mid last year, um, we started talking a little bit more and it's been about 10 months that she's been putting up with me. So. <laughs> it's putting up with you. I like how you raised that. Uh, so you talk about the training. I mean, it's not just your stomach that's got to be, you know, able to handle this and be in shape, right? I mean, tell us about the training that goes into these eating competitions. Now, lucky for me, I've got a at-home trainer here. So. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, the, the training, obviously, your stomach's got to be in shape. Uh, you need a certain amount of real estate to put away, let's say, 17 to 20 yeah. pounds of food in 10 minutes. But um, we also like to, you know, work out six to seven days a week, stay a little bit cleaner going into competitions, just to feel better. You'll get, it'll take a little bit longer to get winded, um, allow your stomach to expand. So it's balancing that training and a balanced diet, along with, of course, doing, you know, hot dog practices or chili practices leading up to a contest, to really get a feel for the food and how fast you get it out. Okay, we've been talking about how people in this whole pandemic thing and stay at home have been having crazy d dreams and nightmares. Mickey, I got to ask you, what's your nightmare? You got to eat the worst thing that you did, you could eat, and it's, it's part of the competition. What is that for you? <laughs> oh my gosh, it's funny that Nick said, um, like he said, part of his normal breakfast is two over easy eggs. Uh -huh. um, I have a phobia of undercooked eggs, so oh. all of a sudden, Whatever were you, you were eating was topped with a sunny side up egg. That would be really, really That's difficult. That's it, too runny. Me. Yeah, too runny for you. How about you, Nick? Um, for me, I, I would have to say oysters. Oh. I just don't think I could do it. Like pickles would be rough. She would dominate me in a pickle contest. But um, if it was oysters, that texture, I think, would just get to me. You know, they're a little bit you know, slimy or creamy. And if you ask me to put away, you know, I think the record is 40 plus dozen. Um, there's no shot that's going down. I might put one away and then politely excuse myself. Yeah, I was looking at, it looks like Darren Breeden had 528 oysters in eight minutes. He's another one of the competitive eaters with you guys. Wow, that is, that's a lot. All right, guys, hey, thanks a lot. So much for, uh, so nice to chat with you guys. Good luck in this competition. And again, all for a good cause, raising quite a bit of dough, right? $10,000? Absolutely. Um, everybody can tune in tonight. At uh, 7 p.m. Eastern, so 4 p.m. Pacific, um, streaming on Major League Eating's YouTube page, youtube.com slash Major League Eating, and 
Go, you know, put your money where your mouth is. Go to betonline.cc. There you go, yeah. Put your money oh. literally where your mouth is. All right. Hey, guys, <laughs> thanks so much for joining us here. Really appreciate your time, and good luck tonight. Thank, Thank you. you so much.